Butts County, Georgia. A sheriff's deputy pulls over a motorist for erratic driving. Right away, the man is full of stories. I'm right here at um, the um, executive suite. The suspect spins lie after outrageous lie. But the deputy's not buying it. What I'm worried about is who you are and if you drive or not drive. It's not. He's Kevin Lamont Bates, and he's wanted in Ohio for aggravated armed robbery. The more the officer questions him, the more evasive Bates becomes. Finally, the desperate man makes his move. Bates pushes the four-cylinder engine to its limits and comes dangerously close to hitting other motorists. Major Mike Overby takes over as lead unit. My catch-up speed was close to 150, 155, but the violator was traveling easy 120, 125. It was not at all uh, the place to be running 125 miles an hour at that time of the day. Spotting an opening, Overby tries to pit the suspect. Well, I think the violator realized then what was taking place and he immediately jumped off the interstate at the next possible exit. The driver tries for a rapid escape. A little too rapid. The speeding sedan can't take the corner. It flies off the road, flattening a tree and a light post. The car rumbles back onto the asphalt, where branches caught in the wheel well stall the engine. Bates bails out and bolts. When the violator fled on foot, my mind's thinking, is he armed? Is he going to take a hostage? Is he going to break in someone's home? Dozens of units scramble to track down the suspect. They follow Bates' trail to a nearby neighborhood and comb the area. Before long, they sniff him out. He was apprehended approximately an hour later by a corrections canine hiding underneath a, a house. He tried to lie his way out of trouble. Then he tried to run away from trouble. But when you're a wanted felon, trouble will never let you go. 